Hi, this is Andre from Lime Hosting, and um, what I'm talking about here, um, this is basically internet. I had my one aunt asking me, Auntie Macy, <laughs> she wants to know what is the best internet she can get for kids. Difficult question because ADSL is good, but you go to MWeb, you have to sign a contract, and uh, Ask Telcom for internet. They give you ADSL and automatically they give you the internet. Probably also hooking you for contact. So that if you get ADSL, ask Telcom not to give you internet and get your own internet somewhere else. This is the trick. Um, if you want a router, you can buy a router from me or at the shops. Just a routers are not that expensive, really. And uh, you get four ports, you can get, connect four computers with cables to your router, or you can use Wi-Fi. Yeah, not difficult. Well, MWeb will give you a router for free, but they force you to have a contract and whatever. Telcom are giving nice routers, the Mega router. So what's it? I don't know. It's but they, they, I know that the routers are nice that they're giving now, because you can actually save the configurations from the router onto the computer. Okay, but I'm using wireless at the moment, and I'm using about 20 gigs a month, and it's costing me quite a bit, um, but if I worked out the ADSL on the telephone line, I'll pray more than boss. Um, I don't think I need more than 20 gigs, but you can see on this graph here, it actually shows you how much have you used every day throughout the month. And this is if you go to Afrios for internet. Um, now this is a secret that I'm going to tell you. Most people don't know. You get the free G in wireless internet. And the, 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 the data that you're going to get from a free G, an LTE, it's the same price. Really, it is. You're going to get 20 gig. That's what I'm paying now. And what I'm paying now for this 20 gig. And if I had the LTE, it would cost me exactly the same. The only difference is that LTE is six times faster than your fridge. So, I mean, that's a hell of a difference in speed, okay? And if you go to LTE, you're going to have to buy LTE router, and that's where your cost is going to come in. You're going to look at 2,000 Rand for router. But at least your internet is two, six times faster, and that 2,000 is a once-off fee. The router that I got now, I think it's worth seven, costs about 700 rand. Uh, it's a little dongle there, and let me just show you. This is what it looks like. And you can connect four computers on this. On the LTE router, there's a nice one. You can connect 16 computers wireless to it, and the LTE has also got ports for your server, your printer, maybe another computer. And your camera, computer, security cameras, whatever. So, um, that's what I did for my customer, I put in security cameras for him, I put in a Linux server, not a normal server, a Linux server. And the Linux servers are the best, that's used in corporate companies. And if you've got an IT guy that doesn't know how to put a Linux server in at your home or, or office, or he doesn't want to take your Windows computer and convert it to a server, he, nah, that's not the best way to do it. Anyway, most of them do it, but... I do it the Linux way. Um, what I want to show you is now, I don't know what to do. The only problem with my wireless um, is that I got 413 megs here. Yeah. See there? And this must last me for three days. See, I have my calendar now. Um, what did I do now? Okay, calendar. I can't move it up. I was hoping I could. Um, there is something that I can do. I can move the screen down. Okay. So on the calendar, I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I mustn't use up this because if I have problems with my customers, I need to log into their computers and fix stuff from them. Check my emails and so on. But as far as downloading movies, I'm going to hold it down. And that is because I know exactly how much data I've got left. And that's the nice thing about Afrios. You can actually go in, log into the website and see exactly how much data you've used, how much data you've got left, and you can decide if you must, you know, how much you want to use or whatever the case may be. And uh, the best thing, 
really basing about this one, I'm saving the best for last now in this video clip, is that Afrios don't have contracts. Really. If you go ADSL, if you go wireless, you go LTE, you can upgrade and downgrade whenever you want. They even will um, refund you the pro rata if you downgrade. So it's fantastic. So that's all I want to say about internet is that LTE is a secret. Um, you pay the same. Six times faster. I've proven it and tested it. It's faster than your ADSL at home. You got a one gig or two gig ADSL, which most people have, unless you want to upgrade your ADSL to your optic fiber or twenty gig or something like that. But um, by the way, who was it? The one company, I think, it was Newtel or someone. They, they promised that they will not cap any traffic that is on optic fiber. No caps. If you know what caps is, it means if you download too many games, uh, data, let's say. 20 gigs in one week, you get throttled. <laughs> okay, and people say, now why am I getting throttled? Because every hosting company and every they got a policy. It's like terms and conditions, and in a policy it says don't abuse the system. So if you're gonna think you just go on the internet and download movies, 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 you're abusing the system, and they don't tolerate that. They don't say it when they sell you internet, but they all have the policy. You get throttled. So, MWeb is the most lenient people. They don't throttle too much. Afrios will also throttle you, but um, that is all you do. You get, uh, you can get different packages where you don't get throttled that much. But on optic, optic fiber, they put down the statements that they will not throttle you. I think that this new tell. Okay. Anyway, so this is uh, how it works. And if I go back here. I can actually see how much data I got here um, and um, how much I got left out of 20 gig. You actually got a bar that comes down and that is it's, how it works. So um, all I got to say is that um, Afrio has, has a very good system and um, that's why I'm with them as far as internet is concerned. Uh, I'm, got one account with him we've uh, cancelled a month ago and um, one of my customers who uh, were using it I was using it and I gave it to one of my customers and now I'm closing that account so the wireless seems to be nice and the you know, one thing I forgot to say is I must bring this up is wireless is more reliable than ADSL so why because I used to do ADSL repairs and I used to do repairs on the Vodacom towers. You know that little tower with the light on top and all the aerials? Now, if I had to go and fix that tower, I had to do it within two hours. I worked for Telcom. So two hours, you got to do it. Otherwise, Telcom will pay a penalty to Vodacom or MTN. So the whole the whole thing is that if you got ADSL, the technicians take longer with ADSL lines and it's longer to find the fault. And because there is no policy, it's provided by Telcom. But when it comes to anything that's MWare, MTN or Vodacom running, Celsi running to those towers, Telcom has got to fix it in two hours, otherwise they'll pay penalty. So those things, if if you got wireless and your line drops, it won't drop for more than two hours. Uh, you know it's going to get fixed very quickly. ADSL, you can wait two days for ADSL to be out before they come and do the repairs. 24 hours, my customers had it. They've had it. You know, when money, when money is more important than ADSL, and money is more important than time, these people haven't got the time to wait 24 hours. They lose too much money. It's not worth it. And I convinced them to leave the ADSLs and all the wireless. They're running on LTEs. I could also run on LTE. It will cost me the same. It's just that I need the LTE router and then hook up with a host. Okay, so that is the information I can give you from Lime Hosting. And uh, watch out for my next video. Thank you.